There are now calls to sue China for giving the world this coronavirus that has killed 70,000 people so far and absolutely paralyzed the world economy. And China does have questions to answer. They're not just the questions I've raised several times before, like why did China wait weeks to tell the world about this new virus? Why did it punish local scientists who did try to warn us? And now there's something else. The general theory is that this virus comes from a species of bat jumping over to humans and that it all started in the seafood market at Wuhan where wild animals are also kept and killed. But that theory is now looking very shaky. For a start, a scholar from the South China University of Technology recently published a paper saying, wait, wait a minute, according to municipal reports and testimonies from 31 residents and 28 visitors, the bat was never a food source in Wuhan and was not sold in that market. In fact, the Lancet study confirmed that the first person to get sick had no connection with the market at all, although many, of course, later did. Now, this scholar, who used to be a postdoctoral research fellow at Harvard Medical School, no fool, said maybe the virus came accidentally from researchers in Wuhan who'd been working on bat viruses. He said one such researcher at a nearby laboratory, just 300 metres from the market, reported that he'd been splashed with bat blood and urine while researching coronaviruses, although not necessarily this COVID-19, we don't know. And he was quarantined for 14 days. But this uh, scholar who wrote about all this has since told the Wall Street Journal he's withdrawn his paper because he had no direct proofs. But you can imagine what pressure China might have put him under to shut up. And there's more. That bat researcher who got splashed is virologist Qian Zhanghua, who works at the Wuhan Center for Disease Control near the market and has collected bats for virus research. Now, promotional video on him suggests that it sometimes involved poor protection. But there is also another virus laboratory a bit further away from the market, which also worked on bat viruses. Now, this government laboratory even advertised twice last year, and I'm showing you a Google translation, for people to come work on a new, on new bat and rodent viruses it had discovered, and to do research on bats and coronaviruses related to SARS, which this laboratory traced back to bats a decade ago. I should make clear that this research is most likely about preventing illness, not causing it. And when the news broke out that Wuhan suddenly had a strange new virus erupting there, the head of this government laboratory in Wuhan, Xi Jiangli, was called in to investigate. The Scientific American reports, if coronaviruses were the culprit, she remembers thinking, could they have come from our lab? Well, later she posted on WeChat, I swear with my life, the virus has nothing to do with the lab. And I have no reason to say she's wrong. Unfortunately, I also have no reason to say she's right. I don't know. And China is not the kind of country that would welcome a confession that one of its own laboratories was to blame for all this death and destruction. So, who knows if we'll ever get to the truth? But we must keep asking questions of China. And if that takes a lawsuit, why not?